What's up everyone? Welcome to a vlog about my first time back at the Menlo Park Open Gym. It's been a long time, probably over two years since I played at the Ariaga Gymnasium in Menlo Park, California. And this is where I probably film half of my volleyball videos from the weekly Thursday night open gyms to the men's IBL Summer League. They recently just opened up and I'm excited to play. And the extra bonus today is five out of the seven players from the Tall Ones Generation 2 will be there. If you guys have been following us for a while, the original Tall Ones Generation 1 the reason why we were able to get so good is because we went to these open gyms and played with the same group every week at tournaments as often as possible and we built such incredible chemistry with each other. And so honestly our current generation 2 team is not as strong as our generation 1 team but if we keep playing every Thursday which is the plan, if we continue to compete together. I actually think we have a chance to be better than generation one because I think our athletes are a little bit stronger and more powerful with this group. Just finished my dinner and now it's time to go to the gym. Finally arrived to Ariaga Gymnasium. You guys know Ryan over there. There's John, our setter. So these are the shoes that I've been playing with recently, the Sea Mud Ones, made out of recycled materials. The one thing I like about this is it has full zoom, so it feel a good amount of spring, but good shock absorption from this thicker sole. And I just love the sound of people peppering. Uh, let's see, somebody said there's a uh, white Subaru with their dome light on. They may drive some white Subaru. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right now they're trying to see what numbers they play. And I usually always pick the worst number. So, yep, we got number five out of six. So, we're starting on the lowest court today, but we gotta play hard and work our way up. We got game one down, pretty comfortable. Man, my jump serve toss is just off. I keep tossing it too close to myself, so I'm overrunning it, so I don't lack any power or control. The last one finally felt good, but I knew I need to dial in my serve if we have a chance to end up on the, the champion's court. So we started all the way on the other end. Now we're gonna play in the middle court. And then if we win there, then we move up here. If we lose, then we move down the other way. And there are some good teams here tonight. Even though we won the last one by, I think, six points. Probably could have been a little more decisive. Some misconnections on some defense and offense. But that's chemistry. One thing that I my jump serve still feels super off. But I still need to stay aggressive because this is only open gym. And yes, I want to win, but it's about getting better. Competition is where you really dial in and try to score. But when it's training or doesn't count really for anything, then you really got to take risk and this is the best chance to work on your technique. But we did make it on the champion's court, so it's our chance to play against Ryan's team there. Unfortunately, playing against that team, the lefty was really good. He's like playing against a better version of myself, super crafty. 
I just gotta go for those tips. So now we gotta move down to this court. I'm gotta work our way back up to that court. Uh, the big difference for that game was we were serving a lot tougher. The previous game, we missed a lot of serves and definitely felt better getting my feet closer to the ball. Instead of taking a huge long approach, I need to take a shorter approach so I can go straight up. So definitely felt better. I think we got time for one more. Exhausted, just played five games of volleyball, and at least the good thing is they got better with each game. But it's 10:30 right now, and I gotta work tomorrow. Gotta wake up early, so time to go home. Just got home and gonna share some thoughts about how tonight went. First, it was just super fun playing with my team. Uh, five out of the seven players you saw Anthony. Chris the Viking, you saw John Tatro, and it's been really nice to finally play with him more because he's pretty busy with work and he lives almost an hour away, so we don't get a lot of chances to play with him. So for him to come out on a Thursday night, and hopefully we can make this a regular thing, you saw how our connection with all of our hitters was getting better and better and better. And Brandt couldn't make it tonight because he usually coaches UC Berkeley college team on Thursday, so Christy building for him and she's a great passer and server as you guys saw. I think she had the most serving runs out of all of us and Chris too. But man, Christy's a phenomenal player. Uh, and Julian, his passing got better. Um, it's been a tough transition for him going from opposite hitter when he played professionally in England back to outside hitter. So it's really great to see him continue to develop and be assertive on passing. So in terms of my performance, uh, two things I've been focusing on a lot is just having a more relaxed arm and, and a little bit more range. I tend to hit a lot of line and usually it's worked a lot for me, but I need to develop a seam hit and a sharp angle hit. And I've been able to hit in the past, but not on command like I could with my line shot. In order to do that, to give yourself options when you hit, you actually have to have that shorter approach that I talked about earlier. And if you have a long approach, you're, you're committing to just one direction of the ball and you're kind of jumping through the hitting window versus jumping in the hitting window. So I definitely felt better about that. And on that fifth game was the best that I've played all night. And like I said before, I was really happy for our team to play better with each game and just kind of problem solve. We had a little team meeting before each game about what we needed to work on. Um, you heard me talk about earlier where we just missed a ton of serves during our third game. Uh, second thing I was working on is my blocking. That's probably my worst skill. Now part of it does have to deal with my block, my height uh, because if you're taller, it's just easier to already put your hands over the net. But more importantly, the biggest reason is I drift too much and I don't really have good blocking footwork. So today I really try to focus on committing more with my feet and then making sure my hands are simple and over the net versus reaching to the side. And also trying to figure out when to help block with the middle. So sometimes I tend to commit too early to the middle and get faked out and then that leaves nobody up on the right side. So I can't do that. So I was really trying to watch the setter and try to read them and then do a little quick hop and put my hands over the net. And if not, then try to get my feet positioned uh, for the right side block. So today I actually felt like I blocked much better than I usually do. And it's, it's something that I've been working on for this past year, two years. 
Um, I'm obviously always trying to get better at all the skills, but you know, I only choose like one or two to really focus on. Um, surprisingly, my jump serving was awful today. That's usually one skill that no matter how poorly I play, I can always depend on my serving and get myself back into the game. But man, sometimes you just don't have it that day. And every time I tried to force that aggression that I usually have, I would just hit out by like five or 10 feet or run into the net. And even Chris said, like, wow, I've never seen you miss like this. And what's crazy is I haven't played volleyball in two weeks because I took a week off due to Thanksgiving vacation. And it's crazy how quickly my athletic ability declines. Uh, just goes to show that I'm just like a very average, below average athlete and I have to put tons of work into my athletic ability and my volleyball skill. And if I don't play for two weeks, look what happens, right? My best skill became my worst skill tonight. So toward the end of the night, I just had to be a little more conservative because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't hurt the team with so many missed serves. So I was just trying to serve 80%. And sometimes you just got to do that. And if you don't have it, you don't have it, right? You just got to find other ways to contribute. Uh, overall, I was pretty happy with our game tonight. And today, tonight's open gym was really important because we have a round robin scrimmage, which I'm excited to make another vlog for you guys on Saturday. We have our round robin scrimmage hosted at City Beach Fremont, which is one of our sponsors. Uh, we have Sportcon X, we have UC Berkeley college team, and then we also have MVVC 18 ones, which is a high school club team, one of the top teams in our area. So we're gonna play each other best of three and just go at it. So, and we're gonna be wearing uniforms, so it feels super legit and exciting. Uh, so it's really good that we actually got a full practice playing together tonight because our, our chemistry just needs to get better And the only way to do that is to play together. So that's it for tonight. I gotta sleep and Eat a lot of protein so I can heal my muscles and not be too sore tomorrow And we'll see you on Saturday on the next volleyball vlog